Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another cast, this time on, well, Wonder of All Maps. Take a little bit of a break from, from playing and do a little bit of casting instead. Hopefully this turns out to be a decent game. In the back corner we have Mr. A. Colby. Nine, nine. Going first land, Aeon, White Aeon, Pond of Way. We have Avenger in Cyanide Cyan, or Teal, I think it's, it's, it's Teal, it's Teal. Tiki Torch Teal, going first land. We have Kai, Sa Kai in Cuddly Kitty Pink, going first land. Cyber, interestingly enough, mixing it up. We have Simpson, going first land. Aeon, Customary, and over here we have Twigman, going first land, getting out adjacency on that land factory. We have Turkey, an aggressive positioning on that first line factory, not going for the Hydro. Second position, factory getting a little bit of adjacency. In the rear corner, we have Benjamin B. Interesting. I wonder if that's my brother. Because my brother is Benjamin, and my last name is Bergeau. So, that could be Benny. If Benny plays Fav, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I never talked to him about why I play Fav. We have Junkie over here going first land. Getting that Hydro up nice and quick. First line 2 p is pretty standard. Go for the Hydro. Let's see how this unfolds. It's going to take a little bit more time. We'll see an early bomber, probably from somebody Colby going for. So I'm going to be see you in position. Get some reclaim. Build this factory. Just Colby Power Stone. That's what I'm thinking. If he does this, I think he's going to Power Stone. He switches at the last second, gets the factory up. So he's got that early-ish air, and he's threading the needle. I kind of like that. I almost thought that was going to be the power stone, but Kobe's got a handle on it. We'll see what what's his fix has. Benjamin B., my brother. My brother from the same mother, Benjamin Bershad, in the back corner, kicking some butt. No air factory as of yet. Found a little bit behind Mr. Kobe. Ooh, and the eco, that's reclaim. That's reclaim. No way. There's no way that Kai has 21 eco already. Or does he? Right, so we don't have. We don't have much of anything for anything. But let's kick it up to plus one. This is like a semi live nonsense match. Definitely got this thing back here. I think it's a rhino. There's a few wrecks. But there's a lot of rocks that are not labeled as wrecks. That is a rhino, I believe. I can't tell. I can't tell. But Samson's gonna get that in due course. Sending his auroras out here. Getting a little action aurora on striker action. Definitely he's not gonna go well for the aurora, but he is kited back, and there is a spirit there giving him positions. And eyes on the target. Goes a little bit too far more forward, and he's gonna get an actual Twidman. Twidman's gonna have something to say to that. He does take out that one thing. We don't have any run by, so we do have that bomber from Kai in the middle. His bomb's not away, does not manage to get anything, but he does get a sleep with scouting on this guy here. Slowing things up for Colby, giving Colby the opportunity to make himself an advantage. You see Colby sending out those engineers early in that replay. See for the reclaim situation, we've got Turkey sitting at about 1.6k. We got a thousand for Colby, we've got about a thousand for Benjamin B. We got about 800 for Kai. Avengers sitting at around 800 as well, 800 for Samson. Junkie at about 1.1. Twigman sitting at around 300 at the bottom of the pack. Twigman is. Turkey. Turkey or Twigman. So that's hard because they're both basically the same color. We do have bombers heading out for Samson though. Definitely land down the hurt that early bomber is more than just engineer harass. It can be straight up just destruction, targets, opportunity. Definitely taking down that radar. It's definitely nice. There is some two one. Yeah, it takes it out. Land down the hurt. 
as he gets his commander into position over here. Leave this up here. So we're gonna do some up and close and personal things. Okay, and we have a few bombers here, but there are interceptors in the area taking care of those bombers. And Kai with the early Air Force, interesting, Col allowing Colby to eco a little bit more. See what we have going down here. It's gonna be a fort. It depends on how long the game is. Because if it's a really long game, we're gonna catch up. So let's go for this time. Colby's starting Rass at six minutes. That's definitely pretty early. Let's see what his situation is on power. He's plus on power with a Rass. Wow. He's floating from other people. Alright, interesting, interesting. He's relying on his other, the rest of the team's overbuilt power. He's toggling his rest. Interesting. While he builds air. We'll see if this pays off for Colby. I didn't know that he usually went this early rest, but hopefully this functions well for him. Kai with a lot of moles and some mantis. Not making a lot of aggressive plays, but moving those medusas forward in order to press down. That's not fine. That's not fine. is on a larger front. We do have Samson pushing in here. But for eco-wise, Benjamin would be sitting a little bit ahead of Colby, but Colby is going to have that grass done soon, right? Colby's at around 20%. Colby, is he stalling for mass? No, he, maybe he could use a little bit of assistance on that commander and get that shit going up a little bit faster. I'm not really sure what the plan is. But it's not bad to have the RAS going, it's just that with 35 masts that you're using out of your 57, perhaps you're not using the rest of your mass to, to great effect. And I, I don't really like this play with the TG power generator where you're already going for RAS. When you have RAS, you can get yourself up to T3 power. Perhaps he does need that to take it down. That is not a great of fire, but that looks like the range. So Samson does not have the little thing to tell me. Turkey has regular gun. Going for a UVF. Zephyr cannon. Kai getting gun. So not nano this time, but getting a gun. Let's see how he goes here. He's got his mantis, and there are mongoose coming in here with the UVF gun. He's got the shields coming in. We have Mercy's assembling for Benjamin B. I'd like to see who he's going for. This might be a good target over here. Eventually, a little bit isolated. Kai moving for it. Definitely Kai, the priority target. Take out Kai. We take out a big part of the team here. Kai tends to be one of those guys that carries us on our route. We don't have off kilter anymore because we've lost him to schooling. He's going to be like a smart. Uh, supervisor or whatever the hell it is. I'd like to see some assistance on this commander get this gun upgrade done. Because once he gets that gun upgrade on that commander, he's going to be able to push back. This guy does not have a lot of units, but that gun does make the commander pretty strong. We do have some flak jabs over here, laying down some fire on Samson's PD. The question is, will Samson be able to get up some Aeon TNT, which will be very strong with these MMLs. This PD situation could end up being a waste of everything. It's the pinch. Is this the pinch that I would like to see? We'll see Kai moving down here. What I'd like to see is Kai getting into range of Turkey. And then the combination of that and the other thing. We'll see this. We'll see Avenger going through here, but I don't think he's going to make much progress here. So we do have a lot of Mantis and we do have a commander that does get cleaned up. There is a decent amount of PID at the triads here. 
quick can go like that, and I missed something. Samson goes down. Hopefully, the other guy is soon on his tail. But Ch Turkey is. Turkey is. Oh, Turkey needs to go down too. But Kai is forced to retreat due to the presence of Twigman and Turkey's ears. We do have pop lights on the field, but perhaps Kai will go. Yeah, Kai's going to be able to save himself out of here. This way we'll get that better and see who it is. A little bit far away from that, this is just he wants, so it's going to take him a little bit. But Kai is not the player you want to get double eco to, as you can see over here. There's definitely a lot of reclaim over here. And if Kai can manage to hold on for a little bit and push into this side, it's going to be a day of reckoning for these folks over here. They really just, they got rid of the chaff and they upgraded to the wheat. Now Samson is still better than me. Kai is a lot better than Samson. If any of you guys saw that last triple cast that we did recently between Kai and Samson, you could you could tell that there. We have flapjacks, we have engineers coming up here to grab some of this replay. Yep, on that order already. He's gonna try to control this situation. He's got his commander over here. T2 on that commander, as well as three star veterans. So he's able to fly up some Shield generators is going to build himself a PD situation here and try to deny control of this reclaim area to Kai. We have Avenger over here with his anti run by wall. I think this might be a classic Avenger play on this map. We do have T3 Air from Colby. Do we also have T3 Air from Benjamin B sitting on the eco side? We have Benjamin B sitting around 30% more mass income than Colby. Very significant as we go forward in this game. He's going to be able to push himself into the full T3 quicker. And not only is he going to be able to do heavy mass units like strats, he's also going to be able to push into the experimental phase of the force that Kobe will be able to. We do have Kai headed down over here. The hop lights are firing on the machine. Mongoose not holding up. There is some strikers over here, but there's engineers over here taking what used to be Samson's and making it his. We have Kai over here with a gun, but the problem is with the cyber T. The cyber commander with a gun. He does not have T2. So he's not able to build some servers. So he's not able to really pull the line against what we have here in the second. The UEF on the ground in his face saying two UF commands. One of them is on T1, one of them is on T2. He's getting T3 on this command. So we're going to be seeing Ravagers coming into play over here. This firebase is going to be very strong. This is going to be something that Kai's going to have trouble breaking without the presence of T3. You do have T3 coming out from Kai. Speak of the motherfucking devil. And the first unit off of this factory is going to be in a while. We will see Avenger under fire heavily. He needs to rebuild some of these mechs. We do have a little bit of a run by going on. He's a little bit of light on the ground. Perhaps he's been trying to eco himself up. He's doing a reasonably okay job of it. Kai is sitting a little bit further back on the eco. Having to do a lot of the fighting here. Trying to keep these guys off of Samson's phase. But it's a rough going game here. We're going to be seeing Ravagers coming out of here shortly. Yeah, there is that first Ravager. That is for Turkey. Let's check out the range of that Ravager and see what that can do. As you can see here, that is a big deal because this is Ravager in your face all on this stuff. These things are just going to die. He doesn't have the forces to attack, and he doesn't have the for and he's not allowed to stand either. And he's forced to push himself further and further back. T2 mass extractions within the range of the Ravager. That is a rough day for Kai Draken right here. I don't know how he's going to respond to this. He's probably yelling at Kobe, I need some air, we need some snipes. What do we got? We got ASFs coming up from both factories for Kobe. He does not have, I saw one strat, but I think that strat is gone. What we need is we need some sort of play from the North team to be able to stop these guys. A bunch of guys just beating on my Rafis. It's okay to breathe in you don't have to. Benjamin B sitting in the lead here. 168, 208, 170 to 109. So definitely a strong lead. 70% advantage in eco at the 18 minute mark. That is a big, big, big deal. Kobe not capping those mexes. You got to send cruiser engineers out there to get those mexes. I am not the best air player and I am not a great ecoer. But obviously Benjamin B on top of this game here. We have Kai trying to move forward, but he's not able to get himself into this Ravager. What I need to see is, yes, this is what I need to see is trebuchets coming off the field for Kai. 
That is another trebuchet. We need to see more trebuchets. And it looks like I've caught up to the live replay. We're gonna do a little bit of minus three action to pop ourselves back up to zero. Or have they paused it? What have they done? Well, we're back in action here. We have trebuchets coming onto the field for Kai Dragon. And this is going to be able to slowly whittle away this. But as these Ravengers, is he going to start creeping or what's his deal here? We've got Turkey with the T3. We've got Tigman who could not without him. We do have the shield generators going up real quick and we have the buzz kills, but that's not going to defend him from the trebuchet fire. Be interesting to see what Avenger is going to pull out of his hat here. We need to see some sort of play from him because Colby is still a little bit far behind. And he's trying to recover air right now, and he will eventually catch up as far as Eco goes, but by then Benjamin B might be able to make some serious plays. Kai under serious pressure here. His Eco is under fire. He lost that max. He's got trebuchets coming out, but is he going to be able to do anything about it? Let's look at the reclaim situation right here. We got Benjamin B at 10k. We got Colby sitting around 8.5. We got Turkey at 16. We got Twigman at 12. Avenger at 5, a little bit low on the board. We got Junkie sitting about 7, also pretty low on the board. We have Kai sitting around 6, so pretty low on the board. We got Colby at 8. We have definitely the reclaim figures. We got Twigman, Turkey, we got Benjamin B. We got a lot of a reclaim advantage for the bottom team as well as a generated mass advantage and the, t the tactical position here with this T3. It's Terran. UEF commander. He's laying down some fire. The Cerebrus is not going to do any good. The trebuchets are firing, but well, what can you do? Because there's Ravagers taking out your TML wasn't able to do much. But, trebuchet is pulling back. It's hard because there's so much shielding here, and there's so much opportunity to build more shielding quickly, and I'm surprised that we don't see a little bit more Ravager. Because he doesn't have to get too much further. He only has to like build a Ravager like right here. And if he can get the Ravager here, then he's gonna be onto that stuff, and that's gonna be it for Kai. We do have the spy plane headed out from Benjamin B, so he's gonna be able to see what's happening here. These Coronas, these ASF are gonna be able to converge on this, but there is a shocker over here, and I don't believe he sees that. I can't tell. Interesting, but with this much shield, we're not going to be able to see a strat snipe on this position. We have Titans inbound, come sneaking in here and taking out those trebuchets. What I wouldn't be surprised to see is that that's what I'd be surprised to see. But I would not be surprised to see is that to see a fat boy coming out of this UEF commander, one of these UEF UEF positions over here. We do have the T3, we do have the support commander, we do have the engineering on site. We do have the shielding and the ravages to defend the construction. We build the fat boy right here. You can see this fat boy start to move forward into here. We do have we do, yeah, we do have titans coming inbound, and this is looking like a lost cause for the North team as these people push forward. It's a slow and steady pace. We have the UEF commanders. We have the firebase. It's a hard position. It's a tough nut to crack, and it has allowed the southern team. While they haven't controlled Samson's base, they have controlled the reclaim of Samson's base. And they are starting to get their mexes up. And this is looking really bad because not only do you only have three APMs worth of players on this side, but you also have less mass, less ego. And this is what I was really thinking might have been the tide that turned over here. With Samson dying, Kai taking over his base, but without that, I don't know what we're going to do. Shocker inbound. The shield is gonna block the shot, and we're not gonna see any real damage from that. Yeah. And it's looking really bad. They must be lagging. We do have T3 RD fire working its way on the venture space over here. He's trying to get that chicken up. Perhaps this chicken will be able to do some damage, but he's deep in here. There's a Monkey Lord in construction. Chicken a little bit further along than the Monkey Lord. Monkey Lord cheaper, so maybe perhaps we'll be able to catch up. 
We do have more air factories. We have heavy production over here for Benjamin B. There is no experimentals going up here from here. You see we have commanders, which is a little bit surprising to me. But the Titans are in deep. There's some bricks here. This commander is on an upgrade. We're getting lasers, so we're gonna see some telemaser action perhaps for Kai Dragon. We do have they're all on Mumble, so there's gonna be no text chat. I can't really tell what they're talking about. But we do have pillars. We do have odd boarded salt. Somehow managed to catch that. We have restorers from Colby. He's gonna be able to take out some of these titans. We have a little bit of lag going on here, so it's good. We have Avengers laying down fire into the base. This is what I was afraid of. These are these, um... Yeah, once we get up into here, we're going to be seeing some real problems for these guys. The strategy. It is. Ravager creep is lame. Like, I get it. Like, it's very expensive. But it can be very hard to stop. Especially when you're on the back foot. The UEF are very strong and steady like that. We got the trebuchet fire coming in on a... Avenger over here. He's almost finished this chicken. So when this chicken is done, we're going to see it push through here. There's not a lot to stop him here. Perhaps he will be able to get here and kill Junkie, but is Junkie really the guy you want to kill? Because I don't think he's going to be able to get it through here. The two commanders given overcharges in the presence of all the shields, as well as Ravagers and Triads for defense. It's going to be pretty rough. Kai ends up canceling the laser. Going to get a few more land factories, but he's going to be losing his, yeah, his T3 Maxes. I don't see how he's going to be able to stop this. <laughs> Let's drop this till never time and talk about the tactical situation about this for a little bit. We'll let the game catch up. We have a lot of ASF over here. We have some interceptors over here. We have a chicken over here, and we have a monkey lord in construction. The chicken is probably going to be able to finish a little bit before the monkey lord, but not before the monkey lord. It's not going to get down here before the monkey lord is done. The combination of the Monkey Lord and the Commander with the Overcharge is probably going to be able to stop this chicken before it is able to kill this guy. And even if it can kill this guy, I'm not sure it's going to be able to get much further and do a lot of damage. Junkie is sort of like the weaker link in this team. And while these guys may not have trouble getting over here, Avenger is looking pretty weak on the ground. His ego is... Is it really that high? 113. Got Benjamin B sitting there. Oh, yeah. At 10. Turkey at 10. Oh. Turkey at 23. We've got Twigman at 13. 13. 7. Kai at 6. Kai really pushed off the reclaim this game. Unable to really do much in the face of this onslaught. They move forward. They take out Samson early. Sky is denied from the base. There's not much they can do. We have Sui's going in here. We have Trebuchet Fire, though, on this thing. They're not going to really be able to break that with the Trebuchet Fire. But these Sui's and a combination of that chicken. It's going to be really rough. The chicken tries to go in here, but he's under fire from Ravagers. There are a lot of Ravagers in this group. And there is... Yeah, there's Strats... This is going to be withering. There is air control from Benjamin B. How is this? No, he's not got the turn. He doesn't have the turn. It's a convincing victory for Benjamin B. These are allied interceptors. There's not going to be anything to do for this. The pillars are headed in here. And while he may have the overcharge, and he does have the gun, and he does have the five-star veterans, so there's only so much you can do with a commander. And as the... Yeah... I'm surprised that we did not see Fat Boys, and I'm surprised that we did not see Percivals leading the pushes in here. This does get by, but the Monkey Lord is up in the base, which is probably better for this team, because this guy is not going to be able to kill anybody. He's just going to be a Bud Lightning Ball. Avenger over here, Monkey Lord on Avenger. Avenger goes down, unable to complete the second chicken. Well, the rest of these units are able to just marshal on in. The, the nuke from Avengers Commander not killing anybody. This Kai, Control K, well, what has happened here? Colby has been defeated. Avenger has been defeated. Roth.
Rofser has been defeated, and a desync has been defeated, detected at this last crucial instant. So where did it go wrong? Samson died. Maybe he's light on the ground. Maybe... Maybe those UEF commanders establishing that really critical firebase, two commanders, getting that T3, getting those Ravagers up. Those Ravagers definitely, definitely did work. Denying Kai the reclaim from his dead allies base as well as the mechs from his dead allies base. With that reclaim and those mechs, Kai would have been a serious force to be reckoned with. But as it was, it turned into like a 2v1 instead of like a, like, you know what I mean? A double strength guy versus the two. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. Like this. And if you did like this video, you know, like the button, click the button. You know, it, it helps me out because it makes people like more likely to see it. I think, whatever it is. But um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.